scientific writing is a very important part of communicating what the research you have done. Before 1940, the communication was in a descriptive way in which the researcher would elaborately explain what they have done and what are the findings they have got. But eventually, the standard method evolved. IMRAD is one of the important method in which the scientific communication takes place. What is this IMRAD? IMRAD the full form of IMRAD is introduction, material and method, result and discussion. In a nutshell, in an introduction, what we write is what is the purpose of this research? In a material method, we write how this research is conducted. In a result section, we write what are the findings and in a discussion section, we write why we have got this result and what is the meaning of it. So when you write an introduction, the purpose of research, why this research is important is a crucial fact. That means your introduction will revolve around it in which you will write the relevance of this study by identifying the gaps in the earlier research so that your research becomes more relevant. If you have formulated a hypothesis, usually you can add hypothesis in the introduction section. Next is material and method. This is a very straightforward section in which the researcher will write whatever the method he has adopted to complete the study in terms of population he has studied, the sample, the number of the patient in which he, uh, he has studied. Also, he will write the assessment method, how frequently he has done. If there is a gold standard of assessment, he will also mention so that the subsequent research can be done on the basis of material method adopted in this study. The result section, in the result section, the result can be shared in terms of text, in terms of table or in terms of figures. There is no explanation given, but tables and figures should be self-explanatory. Please remember the heading for the table would be always on the top of the table and the heading for the figure would be on the bottom of the, at the bottom of the figure. If you have done statistic analysis, you can add the statistic analysis, the method and the result in this section. Discussion is the last part in which you will write what is the relevance of this finding for the community, for the particular science. You will discuss with the help of earlier result by comparing the earlier research done in previous studies. You will always write the relevance. If there are limitations, you can add the limitation in this section. At the end, you will write conclusions. The conclusion is the take-home learning or the finding, the most important finding through your research. So if you write your research paper in this way, then you are communicating better and clearly to the scientific world. So follow IMRAD and you can communicate better. Thank you.